Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with pineapple pork al pastor style. Al pastor is a really popular way uh, to prepare pork famous in the San Francisco Mission District, the Mexican District. It's basically a marinated pork that they cook on a rotisserie and they make the most incredible tacos and burritos out of. Now this is just inspired by the al pastor style in the Mission. Uh, those selfish bastards wouldn't give me the recipe. So this is not authentic al pastor, so save your cards and letters but it's inspired by those flavors. I'm going to have some dry chili peppers here. I have three chili guajillo, guajillo, and I'm going to use a couple chili pasilla, and uh, hey, two years of Spanish in high school, pretty good. I'm going to take the seeds out. I'm going to put them in a bowl. I'm going to pour hot water over them, and I'm going to let them soak for a half hour to soften up while I trim my pork. I have two pork tenderloin. Take the silver skin off, but you can leave a little bit of the fat. We're going to grill this. I like a little bit of fat when I grill. I'm going to take each of those pork tenderloin, cut them in half, and then in half lengthwise, so I get eight strips total. And why I didn't leave them whole? Because surface area equals flavor. All right, I'm going to take my softened chili peppers. I'm going to drain the water. I'm going to throw in some garlic, some chipotle pepper, a little bit of heat, a little bit of smokiness. You can also throw a little bit of uh, cayenne in here if you want. A splash of white vinegar. And then the main flavoring here, some sweet, tart pineapple juice. It's also a tenderizer. A little bit of oregano. And I totally turned off the camera and added the cinnamon. So I missed that shot. So here I am adding the cinnamon. That's pretty much what it looked like. Not drawn the scale, of course. I'm going to throw it in a blender. I'm going to puree that to a nice marinade. I'm going to throw the pork in a Ziploc bag, all right, mush it around, give it a little massage, and then throw it in the refrigerator overnight. And that's going to give it a really great color and flavor. We're going to pull it out of the bag, leave the marinade in the bag, just take the pork out, we don't want it too wet. I'm going to add some vegetable oil and a good amount of salt so that it grills up nice. All right, mix it around so it's all coated with the oil. And then I'm going to go outside to a very hot hardwood charcoal fire. And by the way, why do you have to wait for summer to grill? Oh, it's too cold out. I don't want to have to put my coat on. Come on, get out there and grill year round. It's always a good idea. I'm going to cook this for about seven, eight minutes per side. That's just for my personal taste. And there you have it, a bowl of steaming pork pieces. And then I don't like to, you know, give name brands unless they pay me. But these Tortilla Factory low-carb, high-fiber tortillas, I am very impressed with these. 50 calories per, 7 grams of fiber. Oh yeah, very nice product. I'm going to put a little oil in a hot pan, a thin slice of jack cheese. Pretend that was freshly grated and not a budget, on-sale, pre-sliced version. All right, when the bottom gets kind of crisp and crunchy, yet still pliable, I'm going to pull that off onto a plate. Now, if you only remember one thing from this video, remember this. Stop putting shredded lettuce on tacos. Use shredded cabbage. So much better for you. Crunchier and, uh, you know, just as easy and cheap. I'm going to put about a half of one of those pieces of pork on there. So that recipe is going to make about 16 of these tacos. All right, a little roasted tomato salsa, some fresh jalapeno, fold it over. That is about as good of a lunch as you could get. So that pineapple, not only does it marinate the meat nicely, tenderize it a little bit, it gives it a really nice, sweet, kind of tart flavor. And if you can't get those dried chili peppers, you can use a chili powder. Uh, just make sure you're using a good one that has a name, like an ancho. If you just get generic chili powder, uh, you don't know what's in there. So look around the spice rack, get something nice, and there you go. Very simple, very easy, very delicious, and quite a cool color. And by the way... Pork tenderloin is supposed to be a little bit pink when it's grilled. Even when it's cooked through, it has a pink tinge to it. So do not listen to your grandmother. This is safe to eat. Just, uh, you know, respectfully tell her to pipe down. Anyway, give that a try. The ingredients are on the site. And as always, enjoy.